Now the next character we need to talk about is the character of Louis the Sixteenth, who lived from 1754 to 1793. He came to rule France at the young age of 20, and he really inherited a France uh, that was in great uh, di or in dire straits. It was a France that had, was deep in debt, debts that had begun under the reign of Louis XIV, and it continued through the reign of Louis XV, Louis XVI's father. In fact, Louis XV is worth noting uh, because he was a complete degradant. Uh, he was completely somebody who sold himself over to perversion and sin and was known infamously for the fact that he would wander the parks with his guards and he would make unwilling maidens do whatever acts he wanted them to do. He was a rather despicable ruler who did what he wanted to do because he was the king and saw no one there as being able to stop him. This was the kingdom that Louis XVI inherited. It was also a kingdom uh, that was largely by this time controlled by the aristocrats. It was controlled uh, by the nobles who essentially served as all of the roles of bishops who controlled pretty much all of the state offices and who also were able to control how taxes were done, which meant the taxes largely were aimed at the middle class and the poorer classes of France and often the nobles were able to find all kinds of loopholes to escape much taxation. Ultimately, uh, this France that he inherited uh, was so badly in debt that up to 50% of the entire budget of France during the reign of Louis XVI just went to pay payments on the actual debt. 